Hi, welcome back. In this lesson 9, we will log into the analytics account for the first time and we will navigate through the entire account level settings that you have in analytics account. Now, you all should know analytics has an hierarchy. The first thing is you need to create an account, may it be a Gmail account. With a Gmail account, what you do is you create an analytics account. In the analytics account, you create a property. In the property, you have views. So we will discuss about all these things and we'll also go practically check all these account level settings. And in the next videos, we'll learn about the deeper things in analytics. But this video is specifically restricted to the account level settings. Remember, first is the Gmail account. With the Gmail account, you create an analytics account. In one Gmail account, you can create 100 analytics account. In one analytics account, you can create 50 properties. Now here property represents a website. If you have one website, you can create one property. If you have two websites, you can create two properties rather than creating two accounts. You don't have two accounts to manage two properties. You can create one account and you can manage two properties. Remember property represents a website and in each property you have views and Google restricts the number of views to be 25. So again, it is in one Gmail account, you can have 100 analytics accounts. In one analytic account, you can have 50 properties and in each property you can have 25 views. So this is the maximum number of views that you can have in one property. We will discuss about how views work and what are the filters that you can apply in view level settings. We will do all of these things in the practical demonstration. So continue to watch me as I take you through the actual Google Analytics interface. In this video, we'll look at the account hierarchy and uh, this will set the foundation straight before we get into the actual reports right so we have only discussed about the basic foundations like what is a session what's a new visitor returning visitor and what is client id how the cookies are dropped and how google identifies uh, a user using the client id so we discussed about these things but we haven't discussed about any reports as such so in my future videos we'll completely talk about and focus on reports but before we go there i want to really uh, finish off the account level settings and the property level settings and the view level settings so the other two videos will also focus on the property and the view level but in this video i would specifically dedicate to, uh, to 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 study upon the account level settings now before we study about the account level thing first understand you need a gmail account right so if you have a gmail account with one gmail account you can create an analytics account right a lot of people think hey if i have uh, two two websites should i create two gmail accounts or is it possible that i can create one gmail account and create two analytics accounts right so we will speak more on that so jump with me so if you're if you're uh, watching this video i would recommend you to go alongside open a new tab and uh, do the same steps i'm doing so you'll have a better idea so you can understand what i'm really trying to convey and connect to me right so this is my gmail account i logged into my gmail account in one gmail account remember you can create several analytics accounts so the number is 100 for now so in one gmail account what you can do is you can create 100 analytics account right so first the hierarchy it's a gmail account in the gmail account you create analytics account in the analytics account you create the property in the property you create the view now there are certain settings available at each level so if you talk about the account level settings you have certain settings here if you talk about the property you have certain settings available in the property if you have a view then you have certain settings available at the view. I'm not going to talk about the view here because I will create a specific dedicated video for the property level settings and view level settings. But remember this, in one Gmail account, you can create 100 analytics account. In one analytic account, you can create 50 properties. And in each property, you can create 25 views. Remember, one Gmail account, 100 analytics accounts. In one analytic account, 50 properties. And in each property, you can create 50 views now so if you have two websites you don't have to create two gmail accounts you can only create one gmail account and you can create two uh, two analytics accounts now here to have multiple accounts right so i log into one account make marketer if you want to go create a new account what you can do is you can create a new analytics account i'm not creating a new gmail account here i'm creating a new analytic account so when you create a new analytic account it'll ask you the name of the account so you give the name of the account and these are certain things that google will ask you to check the first one is google products and services what this does is see google always wants to give you the assistance in case you have any query you can always reach back to their google analytics support team and they should have access to your data and they can only have access to the data when you select all these things so remember you got to check all these check boxes and click on uh, you know save now account specialist for google to give you any support about any query that you have they need to access the data and that will only happen when you select this right and you need technical support and all these things so it is always recommended that you don't uncheck any of them you simply go check all of them and click on uh, a save so this is how you create a new account and in that account you create a property 
And remember, you don't get Google Analytics tracking code at the account level. You get Google Analytics tracking code at the property level. Property, in a sense, represents each website. So if you have two websites, you can create two analytics accounts or you can create two properties in one analytics also. So you don't have to keep creating analytics account just because you have different website, right? Now, again, if you're an agency, if you have multiple clients, it is always recommended that you create two analytics accounts. If you own two websites, I would not recommend you to create two analytics accounts. I would recommend you to create only one analytics account and create two properties, right? Because you own the entire business, right? That business has two websites, so you don't have to create two accounts. You can only create one account, two properties. If you're working with two different clients altogether, never do this mistake of having two properties. Create two accounts. In one account, you can create one property for each of them because they should ultimately have the access you know, not you because you're just a manager. He might not like your service at times. So you might move away to other agency. So he should, he should always have that freedom to do so. Right. Now, when you talk about the account level setting, I just showed you how to create a new analytic account, the same Gmail account. I'm creating multiple analytics account. You can create hundred of them. Now account level setting. When you come to account level setting, I just showed you Google products, right? Data sharing settings, right? Right. And why data sharing is very important because Google at times wants to give you the benchmarks and all those things. Right. So Google, you know, you know, takes all these data from different industries and only then they 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 run this, you know, you know, analysis and then come up with industry benchmarks. Hey, if you're working in the you know cosmetic segment, this is what you should have and, and so and so. Right. Right. So this is what you find it here. And then use the account management. You can give access to people as well. If there are three people working in your agency. Right. What you can do is you can give them access. I have people. What I can do is I can I can even add people so I can give them access. Now, when you come to access, again, there are different kind of access levels here. So you can give them edit access. You can give them uh, collaborate access. You can give them read access and you can give them the manager access. But don't give manager access because you can manage the other people who are managing your account as well. So only give the top level access to somebody who you trust. Other people should only have the read access or the collaborate access or who can who can you know work on reports. Right. They don't even have to make changes. Can only work on report so it depends on how you want to assign the account level uh, access or analytic account access to people working in your agency now here you have filters now filter is a very dangerous topic filters you got to be very very serious when you approach filters because filters are non-retractive that means if you apply a filter what google does is google applies these filters before the data is collected that means whatever filter you apply that data google will not even collect it depends on the include filter or the exclude filter and but generally when you talk about filters you apply filters at the view level but what google did was they even give you the option to create filters here when you create a filter you can create a lot of filters that we will talk about right but when you create a filter at the account level remember you have to select any particular view because filters are applied at the view level because they're applied at the view level right so you can create a view uh, a filter at account level and still apply to view level from here right so you have predefined filters right include or exclude i will talk about filters in my future videos but not here so remember you can even apply a lot of filters right if you if you want to filter out all the spam uh, traffic if you want to filter out data coming from particular region or particular device or you say i want only people coming you know from particular IP address I want to exclude or particular you know internet service providers that they'll get a lot of spam I don't want that traffic to be included in my view so you can apply a lot of exclude filters right we will talk about filters in the future videos but right now let's restrict to account level settings so uh, it is here but still it is more emphasized at the view level so let's ignore this for now right in case you create a filter also you can still go and delete them right and here it shows views so this filter is applied only to one view so if you have a filter applied to multiple views you can still find them here now change history this will record the changes that are made to the account right so if you give somebody access to manage users right here that person will also have access to view the change history that we can, can go check all the change history you know what all changes were made on the account and all right right and next if somebody deletes an analytics account you still have the access here you still go back and restore the account that means you still have 35 days of time so if you delete an analytics account you still have 35 days of time to get that account back into your uh, uh, analytics account right after 35 days google generally doesn't keep this data so remember guys these are the five account level settings that you have right first one is account level settings you have to check all of them second one is user access you can give different users uh, 
different people with different access levels and then you have filters you can create filters and you can still apply them with view level we will more we will talk about these filters in detail when we go to the view level but still google gives you an option here then you have something called change history it records all the changes that people make on the account and then if somebody deletes an account you can still have the access to go back and restore the account right so with this i will uh, finish off the account level settings in my next video i will talk about the property level settings and i will give you an overview as we learn deeper as you watch my other videos you will become more and more clear you'll get more and more confidence about using google analytics and uh, analyzing the data that you get in analytics and become a better web analyst thank you for watching the entire video continue to watch the other videos in the playlist remember these videos are extensive we are doing some deep study don't jump the videos watch the entire video they are little short and some videos are very lengthy but the whole point of creating these videos is to teach you skills that you would otherwise not learn at any institute remember we run digital marketing bootcamp india's first digital marketing bootcamp it's the most high end digital marketing program in the country and uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel subscribe to our channel and hit on the bell icon below so that you would be notified every time we post a new video on this channel thank you so much keep watching keep learning keep growing aspire acquire achieve